Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir with a new video series for System Center Configuration Manager 2016. NY1.com will be a domain, SQL will be a SQL Server, CFG will be a Configuration Manager and also I am using several Windows Server 2016 and Windows Clients Computer we may or may not have windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 but currently what i have prepared is a windows 8 client also some windows server 2016 clients running windows server operating system so again ny1.com is a domain sql is a sql server cfg is a configuration manager server fs is a file server and client 2 is a windows 8 client in this current environment one offline server is f s no that is online ms member server that is offline but you will see whatever I have up and running at this time this one is my dc domain controller which is already running active directory name is ny1.com you can access through command line or you can access from tool menu from a server manager so this is my new freshly provisioned domain or freshly provisioned server where i installed active directory offline in this active directory you do not see all sccm groups or accounts at this time which i am going to show you how to make it later on in my later videos but this is only an introductory video for my sccm 2016 video series where i have several uh, options several programs uh, pinned to my taskbar just to show you from the command line you can run winver to look at the operating system of this server that was my first server which was a dc this is my sql windows version is windows server 2016 so this was my second server currently it is in a work group as you can see that because these are new freshly provisioned servers so they are not members yet i will join to the domain cfg will have configuration manager console again this is also this server is also running windows server 2016 this is not a configuration manager yet because this is a brand new server which will be member of ny1.com domain currently it is not a member of ny1.com domain but i have configured ip addresses a work group basic installation was done offline and also i did some updates on these servers this was my member server which i named it uh, fs as file server this is my windows 8 client so if you again do win were that will show you the operating system from the command line or you can also use explorer to type these all commands the ip scheme what you're looking at is 192.168.1.0 i gave several uh, names several ips to these clients whatever ips i uh, feel that are available uh, this is all requirement page where you can see that what I have right now. This is my domain name, my SQL server name, my uh, host name of my configuration manager server, my file server, my clients and also what you need to install .NET Framework 3.5. We don't need to add on uh 2016 operating system this 4.5 dot and framework this is already installed but you have to add bits and remote differential compression you also have to add iis so these are all the requirements for for iis Inter internet information services so these are all components you have to be very careful when you install iis from your 
server manager page and you have to pick these all prerequisites one by one then you have to go into your active directory before you move on to your configuration manager server you have to extend schema and i will show you how to do that then you have to go into your adsi edit where you're gonna add a new container under system system management then you have to add your configuration manager or site server under system management give them a full control or you also can give a delegated control so i'm adding my email here in case you need a document with all the requirements you either can get from here or i will try to put a dropbox link or some other ftp or some other way so you can get it so these are all accounts what we are going to create in active directory so far none of them is available because my domain is new my servers are new everything is not part of the domain this is my referenced website where you can go and get some notes right from there for comt and microsoft now on the bottom you will see my five machines four of them are servers and only one i have which is a windows 8 client so these are all running on hyper v in a virtual environment i always set up a small project related computers or machines on the hyper v and perform all tasks so once again we are going to join all clients to the domain nyone.com and we'll install all prerequisites in our next two videos i will see you in my next video thank you for watching